A. Shalom, Akim, Shalom. First thing and foremost, I want to give all praises and glory and honor that is due to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Rakak, Badash. I want to give double honors to the apostles and the elders of the great millstone. Blessings and salutations to the hopeful elect. And those of this gospel, bro, I lift up the standard of Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, wherever it may be. It's Akim, Mahalaya, coming back with another lesson through the Spirit. Lord, it's going to be edifying judgment of the Heavenly Father um, upon you, Negro, Latino, and Native American, which are the biblical Israelites. Uh, whether you believe that or not, uh, the Lord has a set judgment for the two thirds of his people. A horrific judgment. Okay, I was looking at the brother Amuan Gabar's video and he made mention of this situation and I kind of hinted at it uh, in the uh, sit down we did, I believe, over the week. And I believe it was a lesson I did yesterday. Matter of fact, no, I mentioned it yesterday in a lesson I did. But this is the guy where they found frozen solid on the sidewalk in Buffalo, New York. As you know, they got hit with 28 inches of snow out there. Okay, that's 12, what, 12, 24, that's damn near two and a half feet of snow. Okay, because 12 inches is a foot, that's two and a half feet of snow, 28 inches. And sometimes they get hit with fucking three, four foot of snow, depending on what part of Buffalo you in. But basically, man, allegedly the guy was going to the store and he didn't make it. And the crazy part is says, man found frozen to death in the snow on his birthday for an unprecedented winter storm. And when you look at this guy, because the scriptures say, you know, you, you can tell a man by his countenance. I mean, he has no beard. Okay, he looks like a church going. Jake, first thing I did when I see him, I'm like, this nigga go to church. <laughs> you know, and you people, man, you church people, you 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 going to find out the hard way that the Lord is not dealing with that shit at all. Okay, because one thing about it, and I'm going to make a mention of it too. I'm going to echo the statement the brother mentioned. He said, you people, when you leave the house, you don't put up prayers. You don't pray. You just know without a doubt that you're going to make it to and fro home. Okay, you just know without a doubt that you're going to make it back safely. And in fact, you don't know that, man. Because a report came out when the storm hit Kansas City. It hit here pretty crazy. Uh, we had probably two to three inches of snow. A lot of dusting, but it was the cold. We got down to negative 30 degrees due to wind chills here, man. Okay, and uh, one dude, he drove his car to Brush Creek. Well, he slid. And then one chick, she was ejected from the damn car on a, on a ramp off the highway. Okay, so I'm assuming she was probably... You know driving and lost control probably slid and hit something and she must slid so hard from the force of the ice in the car to the point it ejected her ass from the damn car man all right so whoever that was hey that was heavy judgment upon them and you know why because you people out here in kansas city i'll say this you people here are proud okay you're proud as hell you're wicked you got a lot of demons on you you entitled and you see the prophets out you see us out there week in and week out man we're right there in the middle of downtown Kansas City, you cannot miss the camp at all. I mean, you you can find us by accident because we're literally right there. When you get off the ramp, and it's so crazy because we're right on a central street. So it's a stoplight in four directions, man. You know, you got to get a stoplight to go on, on, on. You got to go across the bridge to go the other way. You have to stop literally by the camp just going where you at. You know what I'm saying? So it's, just, it's no excuse at the point when the most high start fucking you niggas up because you people think that this is bad now. Wait till the food insecurities arises and they manifested themselves. Wait till these reserves of these distribution plants and all these uh, uh, factories that run out of food. Just wait till that happen. Okay? Y'all ain't seen shit yet, man. So this man was found frozen to death on his birthday during unprecedented winter storm, man. And I uh, I saw a couple of clips, man. Um, uh, I had screened, well, I seen a couple of uh, clips and stuff. Of people this is a public facebook page where people are begging for help people are begging for help and when you look at these people they're israelites man now you got edomites that was affected in that but see jake you don't prepare yourselves man and ultimately the ultimate preparation is calling on the name of the lord the true name of the lord because jesus christ is not the name of the lord man allah is not the name of the lord jehovah is not the name of the lord okay and we've been telling you jake's the real name we've been pushing his name for decades now so you have no excuse at this point so all you people out there that's crying in buffalo new york about help look ain't no help coming for you all right you got to figure this shit out on your own why because hey when the men of the lord were out there you scoffed you mocked you was proud against us you talked shit and the lord told you in proverbs it says when your fear cometh hey he was gonna laugh at your fear man he's gonna he's gonna mock you and also the scriptures say pray not for this people so we're not praying that you people got fucked up it's unfortunate for you, but hey, we gotta make sure we're out of hot water with your how about you mean how was shot. So what I look what we look like worried about a bunch of rebellious niggas that don't give a fuck about the Lord. 
You people are fucked, man. So it says over 28 inches dropped in Buffalo, New York. Our BA fam made us aware of the Buffalo Blizzard response Facebook group where people were begging for help. Okay, you got GoFundMe's, people are asking for help, they're snowed in. The vehicles are stranded on the side of the highway, no heat. People are dying in their house. Ne below freezing temperatures, frigid temperatures, man. And I know if it was cold out here in the Midwest, just imagine how cold it is in Buffalo, New York, because that's up there. That's way north, man. All right. Uh, it says request help off of shelter, share information. And this is just a couple of uh, 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 comments and stuff like that. It says Buffalo Blizzard response. It says brothers and sisters have been stuck for 15 hours in the car without anything. That's that's damn near half a day. That's more than half a day. It says they can't walk anywhere because the child is disabled and it's hard to carry the wheelchair. So basically, you're stuck, man. The Lord got you right where he wanted you to, to suffer. Because the majority of you people in America, man, you're going to suffer grievous deaths, man. The scriptures tell you that. Okay? Grievous deaths, grievous judgments are coming into Babylon. The great death says, how about Shimi, how we shot. And then the crazy part about it is, the Most High ruined your Christmas. Because a lot of you people were really trying to go and celebrate this Christmas holiday. A lot of you were trying to go to work to making money to bring in for the new year. Now the Lord has ruined a lot of your fucking New Year's, man. Your New Year's plans. Your New Year's resolution is going to be trying to recuperate from the losses that you've gathered this week. And on top of that, those of you that did get affected, you ain't following the example that the Lord ain't dealing with this Christmas and New Year's Eve bullshit. And you're going to go out there and you're going to celebrate New Year's Eve anyway. And the Lord is, is he's so cold with it, man. Because, hey, he's it's, it's going to be 50-something degrees this week in certain parts of the country. So you know niggas are going to turn up, man. They're going to make up because they couldn't make it to the Christmas party. So they're going to really turn up for New Year's Eve. And the most I'm going to put them right where you want them. Okay, right right in the fucking bag somewhere, man. All right. It says they can't walk anywhere because the child is disabled. And it's hard to carry the wheelchair. I haven't heard an update since 8 p.m. And they are in a gray Chevy SUV. Someone, anyone know their plates? 4168, 6168, Montana and Ganese. It says they can go to the nearest house. It's a daycare right there. Maybe she would let them in. All right. And this is just a couple of clips. It says Wyoming. 106 car explosion that may have hit houses as well uh it says house fire that they have been working on trying to get it for almost an hour glenwood house fires all right and these are uh, and she said share because these are family members man and a lot of it is you women getting fucked up man because when you read a lot of the comments men are using sound decision it's called sound decision making man it's called just basic skills like a man we're we're rational thinkers man in the case of a situation like that hey have extra blankets with you have extra water with you Okay, have you like some type of starter kit? Like I got this, uh, you know, I got like this particular kit, like this med kit. And they got like fire starters and all that good shit up in there, man. It's good to invest in one of those, man. You know, for you brothers out there, you know, they like to travel a lot. You know, you travel the country and you do what you're doing. You have families into camping. You know, it's good to get one of those things just to kind of get acclimated on using it. You know, like we have, you know, certain supplies and stuff around the house. It doesn't hurt to get you know more supplies to protect yourself in case of a situation like that and always keep water on hand you know at least keep a 24 pack of water a case of water in, the, in a vehicle with you you know some people use sandbags you know some people use weights to kind of give them grounding you know but I always keep extra blankets and shit like that extra coats and extra bibs you know stuff like that like um you know while I work and stuff like that you know we wear like these particular bibs and stuff so I always have an extra pair that I keep around you know, or a car heart or something in the trunk in case I got to get out and walk. An extra pair of boots and some socks. You know, just to kind of have your mind prepared. But you you see, you people, you don't think like that. You know, you think everything is going to be all good. And that's why the scriptures say, hey, don't say you're going to do anything unless you say God willing. All right. And I'm going to get into some precepts real quick, but I want to really bring this out. It says, been stuck on um, Elevin and Jefferson for six hours. Can anyone help? All right. And this is by uh, Alyssa Marie. I'm assuming that's her. It says, go to school 17 at Kansas. She says, that's my last option. The roads are drivable. I'd rather try to get home to my daughter. Good luck to you. Try safe. See, look, she's going to try to take matters in her own hand. Never know what type of judgment the Lord got in store for your ass. It says, I have a mother who just delivered a baby on Fillmore and Jewett that is in desperate need of help. That can get someone please to help them to get to the nearest hospital, please. She delivered her baby. She need help. That's crazy, man. You deliver a baby in that shit, too? Having babies, <laughs> you can't get to the hospital, the EMTs, they can't get to you. You had looting, cops, they can't get to you. The National Guard can't get to you because everybody was stuck, man. 
So you people was forced to wait out your, you was forced to wait that shit out. Whether you died or you or you made it through. The Lord is nothing to fuck around with, man. And these people, they gonna bounce back and they gonna still be proud. You know, they gonna still be proud, they gonna still scoff, they ain't gonna stop at the camp. They're not gonna realize the warning is going out through the man of the Lord. That's why this shit is happening, because we've been warning you people, man. Alright? It says anyone nearby Northland. My family and I have no power. Carbon monoxide detector went off in our home and no choice but to stay in the car, but running low on gas. Please help. Woo! And if you're around carbon monoxide, man, you can't breathe that shit and you would die. That's poisoning. Those are that's that's a, a, a odorless gas that'll kill you within minutes or seconds if you ingest enough of that shit in there, man. It says call 9-1, but they hung up on us. <laughs> it says Kenny's and shelter is full, but 911 hung up on them, man. This is Antita, uh, Anita Frazier, another woman. But I'm independent though, right? The fuck out of here, man. You niggas are in big trouble. All right? It says, uh, this is another woman, Caitlin uh, Lezian. Lezian. Hello, I live on a beach road in Chito. It says, in Chictawaga. I've been without power and heat for almost 30 hours. Both my and my fiance's phones are about to die. My mother lives on Loretta in Chittawaga and has power and heat. But does anyone know of any way we can get there? Our house is 40 degrees and we can see our breath. I know this might be a lot of people's problems. I was told to ask. Thanks in advance. Man. Wow. How about Shimmy How Shot? What do you have about Shimmy How Shot, man? You people are getting fucked up. And it ain't because you're righteous. Okay? You people ain't fucking righteous, man. You people ain't in that predicament because you just served the most high. You're in that predicament because you're a bunch of damn demons, man. All right? You know, and you may appear to be good people, you may do things for people, but the Lord don't give a fuck about all that shit, man. You people are set up to be fucking destroyed. And that's, also, that's why I say, man, when this fucking place fall, when this bitch finally fall, deservingly so, a lot of you people, man, you, you, you gonna realize, like, damn, these are the men that we've been talking shit about. We've ignored these men. We thought they was crazy. We thought they was angry. We thought they was abusive. We thought they was uh, 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 aggressive. All of the bullshit ass western stereotypes you didn't put on us now it's gonna make sense now why we was warning you so so rough why we were so rough around the edges because just because it didn't happen to your ass yet that don't mean your judgment ain't coming because you got that nigga mentality oh well, it ain't happened to me man you know I'm, I'm good all right you gonna be good for now to the most high bring down a a, a a judgment on your monkey ass man so good for you people you people deserve to be fucked up man because you don't put the lord first you know, you think we give a fuck about you niggas starving? No, we don't give a shit, man. I got family in Chicago. Hey, in my opinion, they, they good. I talk to my mom, and I'm like, look, a storm coming. Prepare yourself. But the rest of them, I don't give a fuck about any of that shit, man. You know what I'm saying? Y'all figure that shit out. Don't come asking us questions when the most high getting ready to bring judgment. Like my mom, prime example, I told us, I told her ass last year, I said, whatever you do, don't take the juice. Goofball took the juice. Now she's having chest pains. I was like, I told your stupid ass, man. I didn't say that to her, but back in my mind, I'm like, I told you a rebellious ass that. You know? I told you that. Don't take that goddamn job. She's like, yeah, I know. I'm starting to think it's that now. Well, yeah, well, hey. According to them, you probably got a good year left. And honestly, I'm not trying to bury a motherfucker due to their negligence because they didn't want to listen. As harsh as that sound, I'm not going to the motherfucker's funeral that, that, that decided to be stupid and Put the put the fucking white man over the Lord. That's your judgment. You know what I'm saying? And I don't give a shit. If you don't like what I just said, if that was too harsh for you, unsubscribe from my fucking page. Don't fucking watch the video if we're too rough. Because you know what? It's to the point, man. The Lord putting the cold spirit on 2023. Hey, if you ain't a brother, if you ain't nobody that was in close that actually was in close dealings with me, period, within this circle, your ass is cut the fuck off, man. Anybody this year. That, that ain't have nothing good to addition to this ministry Or anything like that You cut the fuck off Alright I'm not dealing with anybody from this year next year Okay you want to talk that New Year's resolution shit Well that's going to be the so called New Year's resolution If you ain't a brother in this thing In this circle Then and you ain't like just like immediate family Or a child or something like that And even to that Hey your ass is cut the fuck off New number block whatever Don't, don't even reach out all right, because you know what? We getting to the point, we getting cold hearted and we ain't giving a fuck about what the hell you feel or think. All right, because you niggas, hey, like I said, mass death needs to come. All right, because you get, you Jake's got to wake up. All right, so this is the book of uh, Jake, of uh, damn, Jeremiah 6, and I'm going to start at verses 10. 
This is it says Israel's constant rebellion, constant rebellion. And most of the people in the comments were Israelites, man. Okay, give or take a few Edomites, but you could tell these were Jakes, because Jake Jake is Jake is always at the last, and Jake want to get ready at the last minute, man. You know, here we we trying to get the fuck out of here. You Jake want to put on his pants? Here the plane takes off at eleven o'clock. Jake getting ready at ten forty-five. Nah, man. Stay ready so you don't have to get ready. You see, um, Jeremiah six and ten. To whom I give warning. Who will listen when I speak? Okay, who will listen? Who listen? You ain't listen. You niggas ain't listening. We out there every week in the fucking cold, the hot, the summer, the sleet. Last year we was prophesying the 12 degree weather, man. Out there in the fucking cold and the ice prophesying to you jakes out there. Telling you to A to repent, get right. Get your minds right. Call on the name of the Lord, the true name of the Lord. Not no fucking Christ, man. Unlike a lot of you bozos that call you that call yourselves Israelites. Oh, uh, Most High Christ blessed, man. Nigga, fuck you niggas too, man. If you ain't right with the Most High. Because they teaching Israel. Man, look, fuck all that, man. You can teach Israel all you want, man. If you ain't teaching Israel the 100% truth, then motherfuck you, man. If you want to sugarcoat the name of the Lord, then motherfuck you in the boat you roll in on, man. All right? That whole IUIC bullshit, no may the Most High break that fucking folly up, man. And, and put you wicked ass jakes in that camp to fucking flight, man. And those of you that's right, hey, you better get right and you better repent quick, man. All right? Sakari, all you niggas, hey, man, the most high dis break all that bullshit up. I'm not giving you credit because you a, a so-called good teacher, nigga. You a demon, man. You don't get points around here. I don't give a fuck who put you on a pedestal with an unconscious community. Look, you get no points with us, man. I don't give a damn how many debates you done won. You ain't a man of the Lord, man, unless you prove it. It says, to whom can I give warning and who will listen when I speak? It says, their ears are closed and they cannot hear. You're not hearing. Okay, you scoff the men of the Lord. You talk shit. Okay, you come against us. You come against the Most High. You celebrating these wicked ass holidays. We didn't broke down. I, it's to the point I stopped doing lessons on Christmas, man. It's like I've done a lesson on that bullshit every goddamn year I've been in the truth, man. And you know what? And, 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 and you Jakes ain't get it. My family ain't getting that shit, man. You know? Uh, uh, what are you going to do? for Y'all know I don't celebrate that shit. Don't text me with that shit, man. I got a Merry Christmas text. I ignored that shit. Don't fucking text me with that bullshit, man. Don't text me no fucking Merry Christmas. Don't text me no Happy New Year. Don't text me no Thanksgiving. Don't text me no fucking Happy Birthday. Don't text me none of that bullshit, man. Don't text me that, man. I don't want to fucking hear it. I will block you. You know? I just have to look at the phone. I was like, man, I keep forgetting these niggas are in the world. All right? It says here, <laughs> they cannot hear. They scorn the word of the Lord. I don't want to hear that. Y'all always talking about that all boy. <laughs> <laughs> but yet you the same Jakes They be sitting in the church one Sunday Talking about how you so love God so much But wait a minute We be coming out of word with who you call God Which his name is Yahweh in the Hebrew You motherfuckers buck up You don't want to listen to it Oh well you making it say that How the fuck can I make the Did I just take a pen Do I have a publishing company Did I just take a page out of the Bible and print And write and, and, and write this in there No I didn't write it man Okay the most high gave the word but you made it say that. How the fuck can I make it say anything? It's plain. Their ears are closed. They cannot hear. How's that spinning it? Oh, well, y'all spinning it. No, nigga. You spinning it. You see, when we breaking down the scriptures, we got to be twisting it because you motherfuckers don't want to face up to you. That the, you don't want to deal with your bullshit. You don't want to deal with your wickedness, man. You don't want to deal with the fact that your ass is cutting the spirit. You don't want to fucking get cut. That's why you niggas say we twisted because you a bunch of demons, man. Because the scriptures cut your ass and you can't deal with it. So now we got to be twisting the word because your monkey ass got cut. Nah, fuck that, man. May the most high destroy you in that spirit. Oh, y'all, y'all, y'all twisting it. Bitch, we're not twisting it. It's straightforward. It's called precept upon precept, you fucking dumbass. Read it, nigga. And it says, and they scorn the word of the Lord and they don't want to listen at all. You don't want to listen. You don't want to listen. You want to hear everything is going to be good 2023. Well, good. Look, uh, look, I pray to you, how about you, how was shy, that mass death 
comes upon this place in 2023. More plagues. I pray that this, uh, what they call this, this new uh, contagion shit they're talking. I just forgot the name of it that quick. I was just uh, listening to it. But basically, man, the 2023 thing that they're talking about that's supposed to manifest itself in 2024, 2025, whatever. You know, they was talking about climate lockdowns, 2025. But they usually go ahead of the token call. And when they put it two years out that way, they're getting ready to do it now. Okay, now let's see what 2023 has to bring according to this whole scandemic shit wise. Because out there in China, they're talking about that shit is spreading again, man. So, hey, would, would, would 2023 be another repeat of 2020? Lord's will. More lockdowns. I hope more lockdowns come for, for you assholes out there. You know, for you, 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 you fucking rebellious ass people out there. They need to lock your monkey asses to your house, man. Those 15 minute smart cities, whoo, that's going to be bad for you antsy for You people that like to travel, you ain't going no goddamn way. You sit, hey, the most you're going to be able to go is down the street on a bike because they want to confiscate your vehicles now. So uh, that, that's what your beloved white man, your beloved biting that you, you simple ass jakes then put in office. This is the result of it. Like one uh, uh, comment gonna say, where's Biden administration? Well, where the fuck you think they at? They're in their houses. They're chilling, they're underground. They're looking at your dumb ass uh, uh, suffer and being frozen out without food and shelter and water. Cause your dumb stupid ass put the niggas in there, man. Which it don't matter, it was gonna be the same thing of Trump, but regardless of that, this Biden administration, we told you it was gonna be a bunch of perverseness in there. And what do you do? Oh, and uh, you know you gotta vote for the lesser evils, brother. Look, nigga, evil is evil, nigga, okay? I don't want no fucking evil. Ain't no such thing vote for the lesser evil. Evil is evil. What kind of dumb fucking, what kind of dumb fucking solution is that? Why, because one appeared to give you food stamps and the other appeared to say cut them off? Bunch of fucking people. Are, man, I can't. Man, you people, uh, you people just, you people need, you people need death. That's all I'm gonna say. And so it says they don't want to listen at all. So now I am filled with the Lord's fury. This is the prophet Jeremiah, man. He says, I'm filled with the Lord's fury because he was pissed off at you niggas, man. That's what the Lord says. Stop crying for these jakes, man. Don't lift up cry. We're not supposed to pray, cry, pray for you. Pray, uh, pray for Buffalo, New York, man. Fuck Buffalo, New York, man. And the fucking boater came in on. We don't give a fuck about that shit. I pray the Most High dump another 30 feet of snow in that goddamn place, man. And may the Most High protect the brothers out there. The sincere brothers out there. In their families. That's what we're praying for. We're praying for sincere men of the Lord and their families. The rest of you niggas out there. The rest of you hunkies out there. The rest of you spicks. You fucking tontos. You born arrow. We don't give a flying fuck about you. Or what the fuck you do, alright? We're not here for you. This is for the elect. Okay? This is for the elect of Israel. Not you monkey brainy lame brain ass jakes and you fucking Edomites out there, you devils. Alright? It's, it's lucky for my verbiage, but you know what? I'm in that spirit right now. I'm in that rough spirit right now. Because it needs to be said this way. Because how else are you gonna get it? How is you gonna think you think that the most high is playing with you, Jakes? No, he's not playing with you, niggas, man. Okay? And he's speaking through his men. Jeremiah just said it. He says, So now I am filled with the fury of the Lord. Yes, I am tired of holding it in. This is how we feel. We're tired of holding in and holding our peace among you. Got to take the law among you. You know? Got to take the law among you. Bro, a nigga today at my job basically told me straightforward without saying it that he is still my other jacket. And I'm looking, I'm like, bro, you think so? You're going to have a fucking problem on your hand. You think you're going to just sit up and, and, and you're going to take from me, nigga. You think so. Because this is the situation, right? I had a city jacket I left in one of the trucks. Now, they say you can't leave shit. You can't leave shit around people. But you think people have the common decency to return your shit. So I'm like, wait a minute. I know I ain't lose this fucking jacket. This is a brand new jacket. I didn't pay for it. It was given to me through the company I worked for. But it's just the point. I'm the only one walking around here with this particular jacket. So allegedly somebody hung it up on a coat rack. And this one nigga, I knew somebody took it. But this one cat, he used to have his shirt. He have a jacket on top of that jacket. So... They got similar green hoodies the way I had, so I would never knew it was mine. So one day I was talking to this one Jake. I'm like, yeah, somebody cuff my fucking uh my Kansas City uh city hoodie. And all of a sudden I turn around, the Lord showed me exactly who it was. So I went up to the nigga, I said, Hey bro, you know that's my jacket, right? He said, Oh, 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 this damn man. Uh uh, I just saw it hung up on a rack. I'm like, nigga, you know I made the announcement for it. I'm like, you just gonna wear my shit? 
I'm like, he like, I just been wearing it for a month, man. I'm like, you've been hiding it, you know? <laughs> and then he was like, man, you know, it, it, he was like, he was going to give it back. I'm like, bro, you didn't wear it for a month. I'm like, you can have it. You can have it. So I had an, uh, I got an Adidas hoodie on now, you know, cause I like to carry extra clothes sometime. And then he was like, man, that's a nice jacket, man. I said, yeah, it is nice. He said, man, you know, uh, y'all don't want to leave that around. That become, uh, that become all of ours. I said, yeah, nigga, you touch this jacket. We gonna have a problem. I told him straightforward, just like that, <laughs> you know? <laughs> and he trying to be all buddy buddy and shit Basically trying to joke with me But basically saying well look man I'll take your shit You know and that's the spirit that Jake is in man I'm like you touch my jacket nigga You gonna be missing the fucking You gonna, you gonna, you gonna be missing the whole mouthful I'm gonna tell you that I'm gonna put hands on your monkey ass You don't steal from me man And I find out about it What kind of disrespectful shit is that now, now, I will fuck you up over some shit like that Think you gonna disrespect my property I will put hands on your ass Just to tell you that right now so, hey, we ain't gonna play them games, man. I'm not playing with you niggas out there, straightforward. But anyway, back to the point. It says, um, <laughs> it says, I will pour my fury. It says, yes, I'm tired of holding it in. I will pour my fury on children playing in the streets, man, okay? Now, these are babies here, and I'm assuming uh, these were the babies uh, that was in, in some type of turmoil, okay? Because this is Bronze, uh, Bronswick Avenue, Buffalo, New York, okay? So, these, imagine these children here. You know, they went through the turmoil being cold. They found a lot of dead children in the snow dead. See, what you people don't understand is that your ABC7 news, all that nonsense, all that selective news stuff, they're not reporting on the real events, man. They're not telling you about what's really going on. They're not telling you that the death toll is over thousands. Okay, they said 72 people died in Buffalo alone. It went from 12 people over a stormy weekend to 72 people. So, hey, you do the math, 72 times 10. You probably got more of, of, of 700. You probably got hundreds of people that's dead out there, man. So don't let this devil fool you with this with this, with this this news media. He's trying to keep it hush hush. It's thousands of people that died out there. Children as well. And the Lord is behind it all. All right. It says here, uh, in the gatherings of young men and on husbands and wives and on those who are old and great. It says their homes will be turned over to the enemies as their fields and their wives and i will raise my powerful fist against the people of this land says the lord man okay and that's the point the lord is tired of your ass man he's tired of jake bro okay but why because hey you're rejecting your how about you how shy man okay the prophets are out here telling you what to do how to escape judgment but you don't want to do it man all right so this is the book of uh jeremiah 11 and 13 it says look now people of judah you have as many guys that you have towns, man. You niggas got a guy for every day of the week. You niggas worship a black woman. You worship yourselves. You niggas worship fucking dogs. You niggas worship white Jesus. You niggas worship Jordans. You niggas worship cars. You niggas worship fucking money. You niggas worship sidewalks. You niggas worship grass. You niggas worship fucking trash cans. You niggas worship everything under the goddamn fucking heaven, man. Everything. And he said, he said, you have as many guys as you have towns. It says, you have many altars of shame. Altars for burning incense to your God by all As there are streets in Jerusalem So damn You niggas man I see why the Lord is killing you When you understand the dichotomy of this truth Then you understand why the Most High does what he does And really has a, a, a straight hatred for you Jakes As an enemy to you Because the Lord said I will be as to my people as an enemy You will see why man Because when you read the Bible you're like damn these, these niggas are evil And you look at it today you look at the shit Jake doing now, man. Jake is all in adultery. Jake is all in selling drugs. Jake is into incest. Jake is into grape. You know, Jake fucking popped their daughters. They popped their nieces. You know, they popped their uh, they they they, they popped their wives, mothers. They popped their sons. Jake, they pop each other. It is it, it's no level to wickedness that these niggas won't go. So a, 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 a 28, a, a snowstorm is light compared to what the Most High is going to do. This way till the food scarcity comes and it shows itself. Then that's when we're going to really be saying, that's when we're going to be talking. It says here, pray no more for these people, Jeremiah. Do not weep or pray for them. For I will not listen to them when they cry out to me in their distress. It says, what right do my beloved people have to come to my temple? And he called them beloved, his people. He said, fuck these niggas, man. What right do they got to come to worship before me? After they didn't commit all types of abomination, committing adultery, okay, talking shit, feminism. Oh, Lord, like, man, fuck them niggas, man. Let them die. This is what our God is saying, okay? The one who you ignorantly call Yahweh, 
I mean, it can be called God, Slaki. His name is Yahweh. And guess what? His son, Yahweh Shai, comes in the same spirit, man. Because he said, me and the Father, we are one. So Yahweh Shai has this judgment in his heart. He said, the day coming when vengeance shall burn in my heart, man. And the year of my redeemers come. So he said, pray no more for these people, Jeremiah. Do not weep or pray for them. Fuck praying for these niggas, man. I wouldn't give a shit. Look, my cousin called me. Hey, look, bro. I'm in a fucked up predicament. That's your problem, bro. Especially we ain't that close no more. I mean, you know, that's my, you know, at a point in time, that was my mans and shit like that. But we're so departed from each other now. He's a straight nigga in the world. But I look like coming to age you out of a situation. When I haven't talked to you in years. You know, same thing, you know, my older brother, them, you know, whatever happens to them cats. Hey, they, they, hey, it's in the Lord's hands. You know, my mother, I mean, you know, it's different because it's your mother and shit. But hey, she ain't exempt from the judgment either. I ain't going to say, well, I don't give a fuck about what happened to my mother. No, I ain't saying it that way. I'm not going to say that. But at the same time, shit, more so I jack her ass up. Low key, she deserves it, man. <laughs> we all deserve it. You see? And that's just what it is. And let's not get into fucking child's mothers and shit. I don't I wouldn't give a fuck. What happened? She could be found frozen dead in our home. I wouldn't give a fuck. I wouldn't even go to her funeral. And that's just real talk. I wouldn't give a shit. You know? Run my kid. <laughs> that's all I got to say to you. Run my daughter. <laughs> you know? <laughs> and brother's like, God damn, that's a little harsh. But you know what? Fuck these people, man. They don't give a fuck about us or the Lord. So fuck them. And that's the spirit we're in. Fuck them. That's the 2013 moniker. Fuck these Hey. Hey, <laughs> cold hearted man, you know, but there's a balance too, you know, there is a balance, I will say that, you know, brothers need help, we gonna help brothers out regardless, uh, my mom called, need help, I will help her out, my daughter needs help, I will help her out, because my kid, Those, th th that's as far as it goes though, it don't, it don't extend beyond that for real, unless it's necessary, I'm not breaking my neck to go bail my fucking little brother out of jail, nah nigga, that's your problem. Tell your, your choir director to get you out, man. Maybe y'all can fondle each other, you know? <laughs> Slock you, bro. Let me chill. You know, they like, oh, shit, this guy's really going off. But anyway, uh, it says, when they have done so many immoral things, it says, can their vows and sacrifices prevent their destruction? <laughs> they actually rejoice in doing evil. Like, These niggas love doing evil. <laughs> it said they rejoice in it. Jake looked forward to Christmas. Jake is looking forward to going to the club on New Year's. New Year's Eve and committing adultery. They're looking forward to going out there and shooting shit, robbing people. They look forward to it, man. I heard a bitch over say yesterday, uh, uh you a bouncer? I'm like, fuck, no, I ain't no goddamn bouncer. The fuck? They're like, cause I need to know where the club's at so I can get a couple of men. I said, a couple of men? I said, well, what you need a couple of men for? How about you just get you one man and call it a day? What's the point of that? I was like, you fucking whore, you. I don't even know this bitch. <laughs> you know, she just come up talking and this shit. Like, they know people, they need the vent. Like, I went to give me some food yesterday, man. I was trying to enjoy my food in peace. This one eater might, I don't know, it could have been an isk. I don't know who the hell he was, but he just had the, he had the vent to me. He had, he had the talk. I was just like, look, man, we're not therapists, bro. I'm like, I'm not a therapist. I'm like, I will tell you straight forward, I'm not here to help you with your mental problem. I got my own shit going on. What the fuck I need to help you with yours for? But I was a listening ear wanted to eat my food and drink my drink in peace but you know it'd be like that sometime and people just come up talking to you saying random shit back of my mind i'm like the fuck you even talking to me for you want to go to the club and find you multiple men then hey go ahead they ain't got shit to do with me but it says they actually rejoice in doing evil man okay and that's the point they rejoice in doing evil so this is the result of it buddy all right part verse one and i'm gonna start at verses 20 uh, 20 it says wisdom cry without she uttereth her voice in the streets okay where's wisdom being spoken at in the streets of babylon okay on the corners on the highways and the byways through these videos through these epistles we're doing that's what wisdom is being brought forth that not in them goddamn churches you go to all right you ain't getting a lick of wisdom in there okay but they teach you how to uh, uh pass that collection plate around and they teach you how to dance and shout and, and scream a bunch of jibber jabber but you're not learning the words of the most high up in the church man Okay, you're not even learning the true name of the Most High. They tell you to call on a, a, a Jesus Christ, which that name has no power to it, man. Niggas was enslaved in that name. Okay, that name has, has brought the death of millions of Israelites. You see? 
But you got other men out there that's trying to sleepwalk us back into that Christianity nonsense. That shit is played out, man. If you're a Christian in 2022, hey, man, you just a dead soul walking, man. You just might as well just go fucking jump off a goddamn bridge and end it. Because you're just, your good is dead anyway, believing in that folly, that nonsense. Never made sense. You know, my mom, she was like, so is Jesus and God the same person? I'm like, woman, I didn't had this talk with you four or five times. Why am I still answering this, man? But what's going to happen? I said, I don't know. But is God and Jesus the same person? I said, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Find out for yourself. Because <laughs> it's like you're repeating yourself. It's like, man, you, you break this shit down, then you break it down. And then you're like, these people ain't listening, man. They want to go back to their own folly. They want to hold on to what the hell they've been taught because it's within the comfort of their fucking folly. They don't want to get out of their comfort zone and learn something new and, 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 and let it extol them and, and gratify their spirit so they can elevate in the spirit. They want to stay stupid and ignorant so they can have an excuse to say, well, I didn't know. No, you know. You know. Okay. It says, how long ye simple ones? Um, it says, she cried in the chief place of concourse and the openings of the gates in the, she, in the city. She uttered her words saying, how long ye simple ones will ye love simplicity, man? Okay. It says, how long would you love simplicity? Because this is simple here, man. This is no, no, nothing to rejoice at. Being in America, getting, you know, getting the shit beat out of us, man. Getting railroaded 24-7. This is nothing to rejoice at, man. This is hell. Okay? This is straight hell. It says, in the openings of the gates, as she uttered our words, saying, How long, ye simple ones, will ye love simplicity? It says, The scorners delight in their scornings, and fools hate knowledge. Yeah, because you had guys, bro, that used, they love coming against the truth. You got men that love coming against the truth, man. They wake up. I remember when the apostles used to do the lot, well, the, the, the sit downs on Sunday. This is when we had to upload the 10 minute videos to YouTube, man. So we've come a long way. Um, I mean, literally, before the damn video is up, you already have a fucking dislike on there, man. Like, I think YouTube disabled the dislike button or something because I don't really, we don't get dislikes, we won't know. <laughs> but it was like, it would be no views but like 10 dislikes. I'm like, how the hell is that even possible? Like, you niggas is. Just hate to hear anything that's being coming out. Uh, you just know what they saying is some bullshit, right? And it says, delighting and scorning the fools hate knowledge. Most high called you a bunch of fools. It says, turn you at my reproof, reproof, and behold, I will pour out my spirit into you. I will make known my words unto you. How is he doing that? Through the men that you are seeing on the internet. The men you are driving in your inner cities. You're seeing on the highways and the byways teaching the word. And I'm talking about the men of the great millstone that teaches the doctrine okay now i'm not gonna take away credit from the mother camps that's out there pushing israel but i'll have no respect into niggas that's twisting the doctrine okay you may be teaching israel which is a noble thing is beautiful okay it's your pop nonetheless but i have no respect into your sacrifice because for the simple fact you're not teaching the scriptures say curse be the man that do it the work deceitfully to do it the work of the lord deceitfully man so when you are teaching christ and you know that the names are yahweh and yahweh shy you are deceitfully, you are deliberately deceiving and teaching the word in a deceitful manner. You have no respect for that shit, man. Why won't you use the name of the Lord? Because you sold out, man. And it says, because I have called and you refuse, I have stretched out my hand and no man regard it. But ye have said it, no, all my counsel and would not of my reproof. So I will also laugh at your calamity. I will mock when your fear cometh. So, hey. Lords in the heavens, man, you know That frozen guy, Lord's probably up there Cracking up laughing at that dude, man And I, I mean, I'm not laughing at him Because I mean, I'm, it's, it's, it's kind of unfortunate Unfortunate for his situation I mean, when you look at it in a fleshly manner It's unfortunate, but through the spirit It's like, oh well, next shit That ain't going to be the only nigga they find frozen You want niggas that's literally going to be set on fire When the missiles hit So, <laughs> would you rather be frozen and die instantly Or would you rather get hit with a missile The judgment is yours, man You know, so hey, man Lord is nothing to play He's terrible man It says And when your fear coming as a desolation And when your destruction coming as a whirlwind When distress and anguish come upon you Then they should call upon me But I will not answer right Because you're going to be looking for to, to the videos You're going to be going to the old campgrounds What was those guys they was calling on that Yo, what, 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 yo what, 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 what's that guy's name You're going to be going on YouTube You're going to be trying to find us on a, on a different media sites You know Certain brothers put their uh, stuff up on a Facebook and stuff like that, man. Me, I used to do it back in the day, but I kind of restrain. I haven't really dealt with Facebook like actively in six, seven years, man. I haven't really been active on that, you know. Even if it was there, just I wouldn't really deal with people on the Facebook. It was just something I didn't care about. 
because it was an order back then don't put that shit out there but some people use it for for teaching uh instruments and it is what it is you know we ain't knocking you <clears throat> but they're gonna be looking at all these places and they're gonna be trying to pretty much find a man of the lord and it says and they should call upon me but i will not answer they should seek me early and they should not find me for they that hated knowledge and did not choose the fear of yahweh they would none of my counsel and despise all my reproof therefore should they eat the fruit of their own way and be filled with their own devices for the turning away of the simple should slay them and the prosperity of the fool should destroy them but whosoever hearkeneth to me should dwell safely and should be quiet from the fear of evil this is why hey you know you brothers out there that went through that that unfortunate tale across the country because we all got hit with it you know it was pretty cold up here too but the lord had mercy on us you know i was praying sending up prayers for brothers myself the families you know asking the lord to sustain us and you know the lord did a good thing i had a good three four days off man you know so hey i couldn't argue with that plus we had a double shabbat so i wasn't doing shit anyway you know just for chilling but anyway with that all praises and glory and honor this duty how about you how shy and with that shalom and the baba ball